Ciao, Ciao belli. Welcome back to our channel. So, for today's video, we're gonna talk about how we met, how we became friends. I always do this. <laughs> Hands of excitement. Uh, 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 uh. Is there a good like that? No, the emoji's like this. Oh. But apparently it's a hug emoji. It's a hug emoji? Somebody emoji? told me it's a hug emoji and I've not been ever using it as a hug emoji. I never use it as a hug emoji. Mahala is going to talk about how we met and then I'm going to talk about the part where we actually became friends. And, yeah. So, we first met... Oh, wait. Did we get into class or well, okay, we, well, we had class together but the we, semester before, but we hadn't met. Yeah, and yeah. that and that was soft. Wait, that was sophomore year, though, right? Yeah, sophomore. that was second semester sophomore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we had class together mm -hmm. for the first time. It was developmental psychology. Mm -hmm. um, that class was at eight thirty in the morning. Oh my God, oh, I forgot. Um, I can never forget. But <laughs> um, anyway, we so we had class together. And developmental psychology spring semester of sophomore year but we didn't like know each other we were just classmates and then in fall of junior year we were taking finite math i think that, that was the title of yeah it. it was finite math but yeah. i always call it like voting theory just because you know yeah it's easy what, that's what the class was about though mm, yeah mm -hmm. um because we for a group project because our school loves group projects <laughs> we were we ended up in the same group so that's how we kind of like we like met and had that like interaction with each other first when we actually like interacted with each other it was it was at night and we were meeting with our group for this math project and i remember we got our grades back for one component of it like each and in, each individual got our own separate grade and everybody had like Failed the assignment basically. And before, wait, before the actual, like before we got our grade, like we were not in a, it was the kind of group project that it was like more like pairs. It was, oh, eight, yeah. there were eight of us and we were in four pairs. And I was not in a pair with her, I was in a pair with another girl. Mm -hmm. And she had her own girl that she was a pair with. And we were, we only, we didn't really. Like, it wasn't like we were going to be able to have a conversation. Yeah, exactly. It was, like, that happened a little later. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so we all, like, just failed failed this assignment. And up until then, we were all kind of, like, feeling okay about it. The class mm -hmm. wasn't that hard. We were. And we so met. after those grades came back, we were all just, like, heated. And then we kind of calmed down and somebody sent an email concerned about all of our grades. Um, and then we're all like d going our separate ways because I lived on campus and she lived in an apartment off campus ish. I was really close, but um, I think I don't know if it was like I don't I don't remember if it was like a joke, but you're like you come in my apartment, then like I'll cook for you or whatever. No, I was definitely serious. Well, okay, because I thought <laughs> it was so a basically joke. you funny joke. Let me cook for you, nah, just kidding. <laughs> Oh, I forgot what we were what for what we we're talking about, but then she goes, "Oh, we come to my apartment and I'll cook for you." And I thought she was joking because you know people offer stuff, but they don't actually expect you Mommy. to like. They don't actually expect you to like say yes or whatever. But she was serious, so I was like, "Okay, yeah, I'll come to your apartment and you know eat dinner over there because you know it beats campus food." Um. So and I think you actually said that when I was making the food. I was not really happy with some part of it, as I usually am not. And then Mahala goes, this is definitely beating campus food or something like that. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> so, I mean, I guess if you know Elena, you know she's like always going to feed you. <laughs> so like the first night that we had like a real conversation yeah. was when she like made this dinner. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so we were, or do you want to jump into like... Yeah, I mean from there we basically... Like, at that point, we were, like, friendly. So, like, you know, she came over, we chatted, and she left. And then I invited her over another day to study because we were, we were both doing psychology and I thought it would just be nice um, to just study together as well. And we were watching a soccer game and I was, like, on my phone checking checking Instagram, I guess, or maybe I was yeah, checking I Instagram. YouTube. Yeah, I was checking something. 
and one of the same youtubers and we didn't know this about each other like we didn't know we watched the same youtubers so i was like telling her oh yeah one of the youtubers i'm following i can't believe like her maternity shoe or maybe some, something about yeah. like the fact that she was pregnant mm -hmm. and she goes oh wait is she from like the city and i was like yeah i was like how do you know and she goes yeah i watch her too and i was like and then we were like do you also watch this person and do you also watch and we were like Star truck, starstruck. Yeah. We were so happy because we watch kind of like family vlog channels. That's kind of, that's what we really enjoy watching, mm -hmm. and it was pretty cool yeah. to finally meet somebody that actually watches the same video you watch. Exactly, because YouTube is that thing where it's like you tell people like that's not something you really tell people because then they mm -hmm. kind of look at you weird. Like, what's the like? Why? Yeah. I get the question. Well, my mom tells me that all the time. She's like, "Why is that something you do?" And yeah. it's like. You don't want to have to like explain it. You just want somebody to understand it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we were like the first friends that we had that like yeah. actually understood it. We were so we were just like giddy. We were like yeah. really happy. We were like, I can't. Oh my god! Isn't this kid cute? And isn't this kid cute? What do you think they look like? And it was just like we bonded over it so much. And throughout like this whole time we've been friends, we always talk about our YouTubers. And I'm pretty sure like if somebody was to just like be in a conversation with us and I asked you something about a YouTuber and I obviously called them by their name, they would they would think that we're talking about the YouTuber as a family member. Yeah. Because like we're, a like, friend or something. we're so invested in their lives and we like talk about it as part of our lives. Yeah. But that's basically I mean, I don't know, is there that's kind of like the story of how we met and became friends. And obviously, okay, the like we became friends after we you know, we're both we realized we like the same YouTubers and then we, we well, as my I think it kind said, of happened like gradually. Yeah. So it wasn't just like, oh, that next day we were like really close. Of course, yeah. With any friendship, like it, yeah, you, you get to know each other and then obviously living together has been up. Yeah. And I think last, so this time, well, like spring of. Yeah, this time last year. Yeah. So yeah. this time last year is when we came, we became like really close because. Mm -hmm. We we're taking another psychology class. Oh my gosh! Yes. And at that point, that class was like the hardest psych class we'd ever taken. So we, mm -hmm. since our school loves group projects, again, we had a group project, and we're like, you know, let's do it together. And I think good. like I'm having good. to work on that and then studying for those tests together, we became like really close. Yeah, I remember. And at that point, we still were not living together. We were yeah, still like no. she was still living on campus, and I still lived in a, like a, like five minute, ten minute walk. Mm -hmm. And so she would come over to my apartment. Remember, we would like sit on the desk, and when we oh, yeah. when we looked at all those videos, and we were kind of, oh, we, all were the crash we were videos. we were a little delir delirious because we kept looking at the same graphs, and the professor told us that that was going to be on the exam, so we were like studying the graph. Yeah. But that was like that was fun, and then always like I whenever we went out, we would go out together, and mm -hmm. and then when it came time to choose a housing for senior year, we were like we have to live together. And now we live. Now we live together. <laughs> Here we are. Surprise! A year later. Not surprised at all. It's been a year. It's, it's been more technically more than a year, but it's been way more than a year if you yeah, even think about it. Yeah. It's been like a year and a half. Which okay, I cannot believe we've been your friend a year and a half. That feels like a lot longer. Like if it didn't. I, I, I know what you mean. <laughs> but we have matching shoes. <laughs> That's all that counts. Get a YouTube channel. So. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Well, that's the story about how we met. So, thanks for watching. Catch you on the fifth side. Peace. Peace. At least not on my part. I thought I saw Hank. Hank is our pet squirrel. He lives outside our pet. But he's he's a wild one. <laughs> Get it? Because it's. Oh my gosh. I haven't seen Hank since all his. Brother-in-law. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw Chipmunk and I was like, oh my god, that is definitely Hank's brother-in-law. <laughs> this is what happens when your apartment won't let you have pets. <laughs> you start fantasizing about wild animals. But really, Hank is, is re he's real. <laughs> and he's our friend. Yeah, don't even know. I got a tear in my eye. I'm ready. One. Yes. Two. Three. Cut that out. <laughs>
Yeah, mm -hmm. our allergies though, let's talk about how our allergies are terrible. In the morning, so we have, in the, like the way the apartment is set up, we, we have like a hallway after the kitchen and my, my door straight ahead and Mahalo's door is on the left. Mm -hmm. And I, every when I wake up in the morning, I can, I like get out of my room and I can hear her sneeze. And it's like <laughs> five sneezes. And then by the time I get into the living room, then I'm sneezing and it's like, yeah, and she, and <laughs> And I'm like, my eye is really, really itchy right now. So I'm trying to like relax. Okay, that's so irrelevant. That has nothing to do with the story is, of how we met. Okay, yeah, but it's what's plaguing us but right it's, now. It's like a. It's like a, a, pre a present I feel issue. I feel better because it's like everybody is mm -hmm. having allergy problems. And I mean, my allergies like, like they did not start until like two weeks ago. Like I didn't have any allergy mm -hmm. issues, and I think I jinxed myself because I was like, oh my god, is this the first year that I haven't had any allergy issues? And then it hit me like a truck. It this is like I feel like spring just came out of nowhere one day. And on top, um, and was like, let's have everything bloom. Yeah, yeah. We so we've been saying. on the struggle bus this week. In this video, okay. No, I was supposed to say thanks for watching first. I know you're supposed okay. to say thanks for watching, but I was giving you a time, time countdown. Okay. Okay, let's do it. <laughs>